today I'm going to show you this tutorial, um, this plush tutorial. So it's this um, cute little um, ice cream bunny. So yeah, and this was a charm, uh, uh, this was a plush inspired by a charm that Cookie Shop made. So yeah, um, and this is also a collab with some of my YouTube friends. Um, so I don't, um, and this is also my very first collab, so I don't really know what to say. So, yeah, let's, um, start off with the tutorial. So, the materials you need for this tutorial, you need felt of your choice. So, I'm going to use, um, two of this, like, brown felt for the ice cream can. To pink, um, pink felt for the um, ice cream scoop, and two duck brown felt for the icing. You also need a scissors, stuffing, and oops, a sewing needle. Oh, you also need thread in the matching colors. And I'm going to also use black thread for the eyes and the mouth, and also yellow thread for the sprinkles. So let's get started with the first step. So the first step of this tutorial is take one of your um, ice cream scoop, and then you also need to take this um, icing, and then you're going to sew them um to this ice cream scoop using a felt stitch and also went ahead and sew the eyes and the mouth. You are also going to do this with the other side of it but you don't need to sew on the eyes and the mouth but you're just going to sew on them using a felt stitch. So I'm going to show you guys how it should look like once you're done. Um, so as you can see I already sewed on the eyes and the mouth and also the sink and also for the other side. Okay, now you're gonna take one piece of this, I mean, I mean, two pieces, and you're going to um, use your yellow thread to sew on some sprinkles on the, um, on top for the sprinkles, so, yeah. So, as you can see, I already sewed on the sprinkles, oops, um, now you're gonna place them back to back. And you're going to sew Blanca stitch all around and don't forget to stop as you go and I'm going to show you how it looks like once we're done. So this is how mine looks like once it's finished. Um, I also attached a sewing shirt to it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye!